If you've ever used an image as a viewport background, then you already know how easy it is to set it up. All you need to do is press Alt-B to get to the Viewport Background dialog box, then choose a file, adjust options, and there you have it. But as easy as it is to define a background image, it's not as easy to get rid of it. There's nothing in the Viewport Background dialog that enables you to delete an image already in use. The best you can hope for is to replace it, or simply to disable its visibility so that it doesn't appear in the viewport. But that presents you with a different problem because although you don't see it, it's still part of the scene. If you are not careful, you might ultimately get errors if you delete or misplace the image file. Notice as the asset tracking dialog is refreshed how the image file is shown to be used in the scene. To totally get rid of a background image definition, you need to use a simple max script command. In the bottom left corner of the screen, in the white Max Listener box, type in the command background image file name, in one word, equals two double quotes in succession and press enter. This does it. Notice in the viewport background dialog how the image definition has been wiped out. Notice also how the asset has disappeared from the asset tracking list after a refresh.